Hey guys, so uh, I got a little bit of a project here. Uh, more of a show and tell. I've got these two pumps. Now, let me get this on first. One obviously looks like it's met better made than the other. Uh, even though if you know anything about pumps, you'll know Flowtech is a, <coughs> a pretty decent name. But, even though this one is made of aluminum, maybe magnesium, not exactly sure, uh, the Flowtech is the better one. And, uh, can't get to this setup anyways. Uh, I'll show you how they work. I'll show you, I'll show you how this one doesn't work. Uh, and then I'll open them up and we'll have a look inside. So, uh, give me a second, I'll rig it up and we'll, uh, show you. So, uh, let me just tilt this up a little bit. Very simple setup. Uh, short length of hose. Going into our pump, which is on the drill. I'll separate these a little bit. Make sure you can still see it. All I'm going to do is pump the water out of one jug into another. And make sure it's going the right direction. Yeah, okay. Alright, you saw there it took a while to get it started. I just had to to get the back pressure out of the out of the, well, not the back. I had to defeat gravity. So let's pull that out of there. Okay. Now I will put the other pump on, and we'll do it again, and I'll show you what happens. Here we got the same setup. Something that I should have pointed out, but I didn't. Um, they do have in and out, and it has a direction of spin on it. Um, these are both spun in the forward direction, um, which obviously you can see is clockwise. Except the difference is that they have um, they have different ins and outs. Like, they're both pointing the same way right now, which means this is the out. But if I were to turn this around and put it the same way as the other one is, this is the out. So they both spin the same direction, but they, the water travels in the opposite direction. I don't even know if you just saw that. Uh, Alright, let, let me actually get this up here so you can actually see what's going to happen. Alright, and we spin. And obviously, This pump is less than effective. And by less than effective, I literally mean less than effective. It was literally putting air into the water that I wanted to suck. So let me get a little cleaned up here. And uh, I'll tear these two open. And I'll show you what they look like inside. All right, let's start with this guy. Like I said earlier, it, it appears to be the better made of the two. It's made of a solid cast piece. Um, I don't think it's aluminum. I think it's either uh, magnesium or um, zinc. But this one, it's made of plastic. 
Um, it's a specific type of plastic. I don't recall what it's what it's actually called, but uh, it is a, it is a high strength plastic. And let's look inside here. It's got a it's got a bearing, sort of a bearing on the end here, so it's a little difficult to pull it off. You can see there, it's not really a bearing, just a piece of rubber. Uh, but there are two of them in there, one on the other end. And you can see, I'll just put it on my bracing bit here, my brand new tool. There. You can see, is that the right direction I'm supposed to be spinning it? It's just got a bunch of veins that uh, they spin. And this is designed so that the water comes in, gets pulled by the vein, and gets pushed out. What is happening is even... I, I first tested this at the cottage, so I know it, it doesn't work properly. What's happening is um, air from this side is going into the into the space getting pushed around and then getting forced back out this end ah, come on get off oh, I think this pump is permanently attached now this one I'm gonna have to get a little device here to pry this one open because it's a very tight fit all right. Now this looks a little gungy because it uh, hasn't really been used in a while and I haven't cleaned it. But as you can see, this one has a very different look. Let me see if I can get it this up closer here. Still got the same vein design, but it's got this little bulge in the top here. And what that does as this pump spins now the, the flow goes this way, okay? But the thing goes around backwards compared to the other one. What happens here is this, as this comes around, the water's pulled down and around and out this side. Um, because this is um as it as it comes it's hard to describe unless you know what you're talking about but uh as it comes around this space actually gets bigger um which creates a bit of a vacuum which actually pulls the water in and then it travels around and as it hits this it actually gets smaller which forces the water out which is how that one works so Two pumps, both look almost identical, both work in an identical way, similar way I should say, but where this one works ten times better than this one. Uh, I did get this one to work, uh, even like the tiniest bit, uh, by running it backwards, uh, running the, sh the spin backwards and putting the outlet on the other side. I don't know why it worked that way, but it did. So, what I plan to do, not, not today, but in the near future, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it on the lathe 
and I'm going to machine off, oh, maybe a sixteenth of an inch from the inside here. And then I'm going to take a, another piece of aluminum, machine it to size, um, but I'm going to machine it off-centered so that it has a similar look to this. Um, let me grab a pencil and some paper. Uh, pencil. All right, that took a while. I'm gonna have to cut a lot of that out. But what we have is a pump. Something like that, close enough anyways. And the inside of the pump. So what I'm gonna do is machine off a little bit on the inside. And then I'm going to take a piece that's this width, plus a little bit more, because uh, if you do take a good look at this, If you look right now, you can obviously see this one is not bent and this one's not bent. And as these spin, you will continue to see that this one's not bent, this one's not bent. And if you look really close, I probably can't get it on camera, but there is a tiny gap between this wall and here. So I'm going to add, I'm going to take, like say, say I machine 16, uh, 16th of an inch. I'm going to take and machine a, a ring that's the same size as that, um, plus say 50, maybe 70 thou. But I'm going to machine it so that it's off-centered. What I'm gonna, what I mean by that, is um, I'm going to machine the outside to be a circle. But then I'm going instead of having say this is the center of my outside, I'm going to take and move the center of my inside down to here. And what that'll do is it'll create a bigger space at the top, which will narrow down into a smaller space at the bottom. Not the terrible drawing, but you get the idea. And I'll end up with something very similar to this. But I've got to do some casting first. So that's not going to happen today. Um, hope you enjoyed. If you have any suggestions on how I can do this a little bit easier, or if you just want to comment and don't bother, just go buy a brand new pump. Um, I could do that too, but uh, leave anything like that down in the in the comment section. And uh, you guys have yourselves a good day. <laughs>